Hey guys, welcome. If you are new to this channel, we have two kids and we currently homeschool one. Uh, the second one we will start homeschooling next year for kindergarten. Please excuse the mess behind me. That's our Facebook Marketplace stuff that we sell uh, during the Christmas season. So, sorry about that. It's a mess. Um, so, today's video will be part of a collaboration hosted by Abby from Rudin and Russ and Jessica from the Waldock Way called Homeschool Show and Tell. This collaboration is just, just to show that there is no right or wrong way to homeschool. Everybody's going to do it their own way. Uh, so today's video will be about homeschool planning. So let's get to it. Okay, so I keep everything in this handy dandy binder. Um, I think we got it from probably Dollar Tree. I don't remember. It's kind of nice for being a Dollar Tree binder, but, <laughs> um, so I plan for the entire year. Um, my husband and I share the burden of working. I know some moms get to stay home. That's awesome. There's some moms that work five days a week and homeschool in the evenings or in the mornings because they work nights or, you know, whatever we've got to do to make it work for us, right? Um, so my husband and I work part-time jobs. Um, we do work for a shift, um, anywhere between three and four days a week. It just depends. Um, we try to do opposite days so that one or the other of us is home with the kids. Um, if that's not possible, then, um, my grandparents are gracious enough to help us out. Um, so, but yeah, because of that, um, I plan for the whole year. Of course, everything's in pencil because you never know what, the, you never know what each day is going to bring, whether we're going to want to do school, whether somebody's sick, you just, you just never know. Um, so I'm going to turn you around so that you can see, um, what I've got in the binder. Okay. So. When I first started the school year, I actually had a pretty thick, um, I think it was a five-star zip uh, binder uh, type thing, and I decided that I didn't like it. It was a kind of a pain, so we just went with a regular um, binder like this, or a regular folder. Um, so... Uh, this is our week from this past week. Today's Friday, Veterans Day. Um, so we decided not to do any school, although we did do, um, we did watch a video on what Veterans Day was, um, why it was so important. Um, so we did do a little something. Um, but so this was Monday. This was Tuesday. This was Wednesday. This year we're not doing school on Thursdays just so that um, if we want to do a fun activity or, um, you know, maybe go ice skating or, I don't know, pumpkin patch and we can't do it on the weekend or whatever, you know, just, just to have that open day if we want to go do something. Um, but yeah, everything's planned out. So this was this last week's um, and the following in following and literally all the way to June 30th of 2020 oh gosh 2023 um, is planned out now You will see, like here, I have these marked out because he decided to work ahead and or we decided not to do those. Um, so I just marked them out 
and we just kind of work with it. If he works ahead, I'll either pencil it in or just kind of make a mental note. Sometimes that's a little dangerous. <laughs> um, as to where he's at. And um, I think next year um, we are going to kind of do a, like, this is what I'd like to get done, but not assign pages or, you know, just, just the subjects that I want to get done and then, um, go in at the end of the day and write down what we did get done. Um, because for him, he either likes to work ahead in the subject if he's really enjoying it. Um, some days or some subjects he's not feeling it. So we may or may not get done what I have down. Which is fine, um, but I feel like it would save time and maybe some paper, I don't know, to just say, okay, let's try to get these subjects done and um, then write down what we actually did get done and go from there. Uh, in the state of Indiana, we have to go 180 days, so um, pardon my cat, she's lonely. <laughs> Um, so other than that, we really have no, um, nothing that we have to do specific and we don't do, we don't have to do any testing or anything either at the end of the year. So, um, but yeah, that's, that's how I do it. Um, usually around July, the end of July, I start, <laughs> start planning um, so that we can start in August and get our 180 days in. This year we are not taking, um, I don't want to say taking as many breaks, but our breaks are not going to be as long. Like spring break was just a couple days. Fall break, we just did a couple days. Mostly because usually... His schoolwork is done in a couple of hours. So we've got the rest of the day to, to do whatever we want to do. And then again, we have the Thursdays open so that if we want to take a day trip, go somewhere where it's going to take the whole day or whatever, then we can do that. And I've got it to where uh, the subjects change other than history and math and Bible. Um, those are done all throughout the year, but then the other subjects um, change. So, yeah. And then I've got life skills in the back here. And then these are all of our worksheets that we've got in here. I do have another video on um, how I have this set up, but, yep, so that's how we, um, how we plan for our school year. All right, so that's all I have for this video. Uh, hopefully that gave you some ideas of what you'd like to do or what you wouldn't like to do. <laughs> uh, like I said, I think next year we're going to do, um, not really assigned, 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 assigned work, but, we will have a goal of what subjects we want to get done and then go back and write down what we actually got done. Um, I think it'll work better also because we'll have our kindergartner and um, we all know how that goes. <laughs> um, yeah, I know there'll be, there will be spurts of learning with her and short attention spans and which is fine it'll be great but um i'm excited to get her get her going um but yeah so uh make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you next time bye guys